Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Galloper Major and this is a let's play in HMS Nelson. Now basically HMS Nelson is being spotlighted in the store. We've seen some people probably playing her for the first time we think. And then also HMS Nelson was the first review we did for this channel. And so it's probably about time we revisited the old gal just because our first review back in January of this year probably wasn't quite up to the standards that we do nowadays so it'd be nice just to get the kind of like almost like a refresh just showing what we do in her now this is a game of domination on northern waters tier five and six game on the other team jervis okay pensacola york belfast belfast likes to sit and smoke and throw he uh, the other two cruisers decent cruisers though nagato 16 inch guns shan horse 11 inch gneisenhauer 15 inch KG5, KG5, both with 15, 14-inch guns. So they're both going to be slugging HE. So probably I'm expecting Sean Horse and the two KGVs to be throwing HE along with the Belfast Pensacola. So I've spawned at Chai, moving into Charlie. Now, with Nelson, she's got 16-inch guns, but it's also got British AP. So it's... The AP is still good because it's still that British style of like short fuses, larger burst and charge, so you probably, and it, it shatters on thicker armour, but if you can get it through thin armour it can really hurt. Very good at anti-cruiser. Against battleships you probably want to be aiming at the deck line. Now there's lots of battleships in this game, so the first thing I've got and done is I've just loaded HE, because the, load, because the HE is really nice in uh, Nelson. Um, she does set a lot of fires. I think her chance of setting fires is higher than that of the KG-5. And of course on my first one I only get two hits out of nine shots, so <laughs> typical. So I'm moving in towards the objective because it is contested by a cruiser. So obviously I want to try and back up our destroyer. I'll take a fire, I don't mind the fire. Um, KGV is now moving forward so I'm going to quickly chuck that body out. And I'm going to stay in HE. That's one thing to always bear in mind with Nelson. The reload speed really is quite long. So when it comes to picking which ammunition type you want to be in, you want to be making that choice as quickly as possible, almost like straight after firing that volley. However, um, sometimes, mm, oh, this would be really good to be in AP actually, but we're just going to take it. I'm just going to fire that HE out. I'm going to keep turning away because I want to be breaking off this engagement at the moment. I've knocked out the engines of the Pentacola and I should re really switch to AP considering that target being offered. Now, I've taken a bit of damage, probably mostly from that turn. Um, the problem is with, with Nelson, um, you kind of do these kind of like turns in and out because obviously you want to engage and disengage. Uh, thankfully, you do have that monster repair party, which will heal lots and lots of health. Now, I'm waiting for the Pensacola to make a mistake. Now I've loaded AP, I want to make it count. Now, with the armour on the Nelson, it is this all-or-nothing scheme. And basically, it can, sometimes it can feel like it's a bit of just nothing error. There's that mistake, so I'm just going to get that body out. And let's see. There we go. So sometimes you have to be patient when it comes to AP. Yeah, you may be angry that I got the kill, but at the end of the game, this is a team game, and that means the team's got the kill. Now, with the KGV still being nose on, uh, that brought out on, I should say, I'm gonna keep AP loaded. So um, going back to the armor, um, basically with Nelson, you don't wanna be nose on, you don't wanna be stern on, you don't wanna be broadside. You will just get punished by battleships that know what they're doing against a Nelson. However, you always want to treat it like a tiger tank. You want to be angling, as though, pretending the way I'm looking is the way I want my guns pointing, I want to be angling breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. Basically, um, the four corners. If you imagine this as like a tiger tank, and you have a clock, and 12 o'clock is dead ahead, and you have those times, and you want to angle that corner towards an enemy. This is quite a common um, trait to remember with Nelson, is you want to be angling one of those four corners towards the enemy. 
Now I think our ships should be pretty all right here taking on the, actually I might even go for a deliberate beach here. I am seeing an opportunity. So I'm gonna aim for the deck level, get those shots out. Let's see what we do. So we hit, we do 7,000 damage, and then he's also taken a torpedo. I'm seeing that their destroyer, probably the Jervis, has to be the Jervis actually, has made a push into our objective at Delta. So what I want to do is probably once we've at least got rid of this KGV, is change my engagement towards Delta. So one more body out. If see nice I'll have that but I'm gonna put that fire up I'm gonna quickly turn this round now um, Nelson was a treaty battleship uh, with 16 inch guns um, the only well her and her sister ship so there was Nelson and there was Rodney and they're the only British battleships ever equipped with 16 inch guns and I'm gonna be honest I've got a soft spot for this um, this ship um, it might be because back in the day I did make a airfix kit of HMS Nelson. I really did enjoy it. I think it has something unique about her shape. Um, it's, I like it. I like the shape. I know these ships can be kind of marmite with some people, but I really do like the shape of this ship. So. She's quite good at turning the water, so that's what makes angling so easy in this ship at times. Now I'm going after this Jervis, and I know he's going to be up here somewhere, I mean why wouldn't you be? Um, he probably wants to kill a battleship and I'm the nearest battleship to him. The York has gone off the radar, or off grid. Our cruiser's making a push towards Bravo, good call. Um, we've got a hunter pack over at Alpha, and then we've got me and the Akasuki, yes, heading towards Delta to try and find this Jervis, which I'm not detected, which is concerning. Now, Nelson doesn't come with a spotter aircraft. She was temporarily fitted with one once, uh, basically as a test. That's why, uh, let's see, if I do this you can see that that crane on the right side it's folded down but yeah no nah, this is a beautiful view she if I oh, I can't lock guns but if I uh, bring the guns forward and you can see the pom-pom on the top of B turret okay, so now I can just quickly switch this and obviously this is one of the few ships where you can do this simply because there is no rear turret so you can kind of get to enjoy the ship in all its glory. Although you do look a bit, your turrets look a bit funny when you're doing it. Wow. I know, I really enjoy that. And you can see, so you've got your Citadel. Um, well, the, there's two types of Citadel. Um, there's the Citadel that uh, Wargaming say, which is like your crucial um, ammunition stores and fuel stores and engine spaces down inside the hull of your ship. But then there's also the command citadel, and that is that structure just in front. So you've got your main bridge, and then just in front of that, you have your citadel. I can't quite, it's that thing there, which I've got the cursor over almost. Um, now that's basically uh, just behind sea turret. That's basically where the command structure would sit in the ship and command, and that's heavily armored. Because the main bridge, the big Queen's Anne mansion that's behind it, is only made of quite thin plating. That's why with British battleships you do find them taking quite a lot of HE damage because they have that big structure which is easy to pen. Now the secondaries on Nelson are AP only and they're all towards the rear of the ship. Um, you've got three turrets per side, each one with two six inch guns and that basically means the secondaries aren't that impressive because this uh, AP only. But yeah, no, she's a beautiful ship. Do enjoy taking her out occasionally. And there goes the Jervis. So, a bit of a quiet end to a game. Um, we did our side quite well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, on the team came fourth overall, but 
okay yeah free kills but then kills don't really like with this game sometimes I feel like with a kill it doesn't really have the value it's all about the damage really uh, made a pretty penny at the end of the day which is quite nice and that and because she's premium ship she actually does earn you more uh, if you like the video give it a like uh, commander build and ship build is down in the description if you'd like to come to content feel free to subscribe I'm the Gareth Major and back to the port